So hello everybody and welcome back to another Charticulator video. Really looking forward to do this because of two things. I'm going to show you how to create a line chart and that works for Charticulator Web and Charticulator Power BI. And then for you Power BI users, I'm going to show you how to conditional format the line chart that we created in Charticulator. That will work only for Power BI, so you guys that are not using Power BI can stop the video there. So let's get started. Okay, so this is what I'm actually going to show you. Um, I'm going to show you how you can actually create a line chart and then how you can grab values that conditional format the, or the highlight the values on the line chart. Really, really nice. So let's start with a line chart that works both for web and Power BI. So what you're going to do if you're using Power BI, make sure that you update Charticular because it's been updated. Uh, I'm going to duplicate this table that contains sales, the year of sales the category, and then this selected country column is being going to be used for conditional formatting. So if you're using Charticulator Web, not for you. So I have the table. Now I am going to click on Microsoft Charticulator, or you import that on Charticulator Web, and then you go to Edit and Create Chart. And to create a line chart is actually very, very simple. First, make sure that you have all the columns that you need inside in there. So, so what we're going to have is a year on the x-axis. So we're going to change this as a category and drop it in the x-axis. And then on the y-axis, we want to have sales. So we drop it on there. And then we're going to move it. Make sure that when you're moving things, you're moving the guides because otherwise it will not snap where you want it to snap. So here we have sales and then we have um, year. And to create a line chart, what you need to do is to mark the data points and then join them. So to do that, we're going to use the um, circle, drop it in there. And then as you can see here, one point is one data point so it's sales for this category and this year, right? And then the only thing that we need to do is to join them with a line based on the category name and hide the symbol. So this is our line chart. I'm starting to get better at naming things. <laughs> the symbol, this is not, I'm not going to use it that much, but anyhow, circle. And um, this is all. That's, that's all that you need to do in order to create a line chart. So you can save, go back to the report, and here you have the line chart. Beautiful. Now, for you, those of you that are doing this in Power BI, want to conditional format. You are going to need an extra column that is called here selected country. Almost. <laughs> and what this does is that when you pick something in here, you see confections. It marks it as a yes, and the rest no, like selected country, yes. You can mark, it's not a country actually, it's a category. You can mark multiple ones and then it will select them. So we need to create these. I showed you um, yesterday on DAX Friday's video number 212, how to create these DAX. So if you want to know how it is done, you will get this file obviously, so you can just check it out. But if you want to know how this is done, check that video. Make sure that that column is in your Charticulator fields in here. And in order to be able to mark that, the only thing that we need to do is to grab the line. And then the color, we're going to... Just, if you see this symbol, it means that it can be data-driven. So you don't need to hard-code the value like it is now. So I am going to drop selected country column in there, click in here, there is a properties, and then I'm going to say if it is yes, give it a red, if it is no, give it a black or gray-ish, right? And then you're going to go back and look at that. It's working already, right? So if I select multiple, it will highlight multiple. The next thing that we need, obviously, is a legend. Otherwise, how do we know what has been selected? Legends are hard-coded, so the values are hard-coded. It means that I cannot choose a category name in here and conditional format it because it will filter out. So 
the way I found it to do it, which is a very popular way anyhow, is let's unhide this. We see again the circles, our data points. I'm going to drop a text, zoom out, and then put it on the side. This text is going to be our legend. Legend. And then I am going to uh, conditional format we can do later. There is a possibility to data, you know, to change the visibility of everything based on a value, which is really, really nice. So if I change this as a number and then I drop it in here, obviously this is not going to be like very good because, you know, data is going to be dynamic in Power BI. So you probably would like to have a like create a DAX measure that identifies with a yes always the last year. So, you know, yes, no, and then you do exactly the same thing. Uh, just not to make this very long, I'm going to do greater, or if you know that the data is not going to change, you say if it is greater than 1998. Unfortunately, I'm hard coding this value and this that's just going to, you know, not going to be very effective after a while. Uh, let me again hard code the value and then it will show the the last text again use a yes or no conditional format um, measure and then you will be able to do this and then the next thing that we want to do obviously is also conditional format this legend so we're going to drop selected country in there and we're going to put category name on text and there you have them it's not like very readable. I w wish that, you know, Charticulator would uh, um, space things better, like realize that they are on top of each other and, you know, move them a little bit. It doesn't do it. But when once you put this into Power BI, it's not that bad. You, I think you, you can still see it. And the more grays you, you put the, the text, the better it gets. Now, Works very well with few data points. When you put a lot of data points, let me show you. So here we have COVID data. Uh, it is not a lot of data, but in, you know, it's all the infections or confirmed cases uh, since the beginning. And now I have limited this just to a, a certain number of countries and it works very, very well. But once I release everything and I put all the data points, things start to get a little bit hairy. So you see here, for example, that it says, this is a Power BI thing, not a Charticular thing, what I think. So if you would do this as a line chart in part in, with a Charticulator in Power BI, you will get the same issue. So you can see here that it says too many values, and then you see nothing. And then if you start you see also that the range here changes. It was up to 550, now it's 55, so it's limited everything. And instead of showing significant values, it's just, I don't know, getting maybe the first thousand or something, I have no idea. And then when I'm choosing things, because they are hidden in the back, you barely see them. I see a green thing there, but not too much. So if you have a lot of data, it doesn't work like very, very well. Let me show you, if I pick countries, for example, I know that this is the US, so United States, if I grab it, and it is visible and it is so predominant, it will show, pick United Kingdom, it takes a little while also, it's not like super fast, but it shows here, for example, uh, I'm guessing that India has also high still, it should show up there, you see? But the text, for example, is gone and it's not very respondent and, and I know that not all values are being showed because it's telling me. So there are still limitations to this and I want you to be aware of. But if you don't have a lot of categories, it works very, very, very well. So give it a go. Let me know what you think and I will see you soon with another Charticular video. I'm loving Charticular, by the way. Oh my God. What we will be able to do with that is amazing. So I really hope they continue developing because it is really, really, really good. Okay, I will see you um, very, very soon. Take care.